Welcome to the finals where destruction is at every point. This trio dominated the rooftops of Monaco and The finals is not like your basic game where you just shoot at each other. There's three different types of players to choose from. We have the light build, medium build, and the heavy build. One is in specialization, the other is in weapons, and last is gadgets. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about light build specialization. These specializations are different abilities that you can use to get one up in the game. Let's talk about it. First ability we have is grappling hook which is a cord with a hook that you launch to a scale structure and swing past walls. It is also very handy for quick escape, getting the hell out of enemy sight. Next we have evasive dash, which is a few quick dashes to close distance or dodge out of harm's way. Another way to get the hell out of enemy fire sight. Last ability we have for light is cloaking device. Cloaking device is a temporary cloak that makes you hard to see when moving and invisible when motionless. So I advise don't move if you don't want to get spotted. Next up, let's talk about the medium build abilities. First up is guardian turn. It is a disposable AI controlled assault rifle. This assault rifle shoots immediately when spotting enemies. And if you shoot at it from behind, it will turn around and shoot directly back at you. So don't think you're safe. Next we have a healing beam, which is a beam that gives health directly to your teammates. So if your teammates are getting ready to die, quickest way to help them heal is through a beam. And last ability we have for the medium build is called Recon Sense, which is a sensor enhancement that makes opponents visible through structure for a limited amount of time. Next, let's get over to heavy build abilities. Heavy build first ability is called Charge and Slam. 
With Charge and Slam, you can run through objects such as walls or glass. You can even charge at players, which can damage them, and result in them being pushed down to their death. You can also break the floor by slamming into the ground. Must be in the air to activate. Next, we have Mesh Shield. Mesh Shield is an ability that projects a shield that blocks you from the front, only creating a shoot-through cover for your teammates. Last but not least, we have Goo Gun. Goo Gun shoots glob, I mean blobs, of goo that turns into solid foam. On impact, it's useful for creating defenses. And that is all the abilities that you can choose from from the three players. Next, let's get into weapons. Light build first weapon is a dagger. A dagger is a close range melee weapon. Can also perform a secondary backstabbing attack. Next is the M11. M11 is a fast firing, fully automatic machine pistol, which is perfect for close range. Next is SH-1900, which is a double barrel shotgun with the wide spread. Next is a SR-84, which is a boat action sniper rifle. Catch enemies from afar distance without ever being seen. Next is throwing knives. A set of projectile that can be thrown in short bursts can also be thrown in pairs. Next is a sword which has a high damage and attack. You can also perform secondary lunge attack. Next up, we have a XP-54, which is a tactical submachine gun. Next gun up is a LH-1, which is a semi-automatic battle rifle. Last weapon on the list for light builds is a V-95, which is a pistol. Now let's get over to the medium build weapons. First medium build weapon is an AKM, which is a fully automatic assault rifle. Next medium build weapon is a CL-40 which is a pump action grenade launcher.
Next up is a Model 1887, which is a lever action shotgun firing pellets. Next up, we have a R357, which is a high powered revolver. Next up, we have a gun that I cannot pronounce, so I'm going to call it an F car, <laughs> which is a heavy tactical assault rifle. weapon we have for a medium build is a rod shield which can be used in close combat. It can be held close to your body for protection, raised to block incoming projectiles, or used as a close-up for melee damage. Lastly, we're at heavy build guns. The first heavy build gun is a Lewis gun, which is a pan magazine fed light machine gun. Next is an M60, which is a fully automatic light machine gun. Next we have an MGL32, which is a revolving grenade launcher. Next up is a SA-1216, which is a rapid fire automatic shotgun with a quad tube magazine. Next is a sludge hammer, which is a melee weapon and tool that destroys the area itself. Last of weapons, we have a flamethrower. A flamethrower emits a stream of fire that burns and damages contestants. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll make a live section for Gaddix in my next video. Like and subscribe.